All right, here I am in the bush again. I found a really nice spot to do some bushcraft and set up a little camp. It's a nice little opening with some green grass, some light coming through. But I had to walk for like two hours through what was pretty much swamp. So to find a nice little dry area where I can make a fire and be comfortable was like amazing man. So right now I have a steak on the fire. It's cooking just right on the coals. And I also have some bannock cooking in the pan right there. And the bannock has onions in it as well as some herbs, basil and thyme I think. But it looks like my steak might be burning. Oh. Nope. Not burnt. It's got some coal stuck to it. Believe it or not, this is a good way to cook your steak. Might look messy, but it's the, the ashes don't really affect the flavor, and they don't really stick too badly to the meat. So it turns out to be a pretty good way to cook it. Um, I'll show you around the camp a little bit. I decided to make a table out of this tree, which turned out pretty damn good. All I did was cut away with the hatchet, made a nice little flat area, and it turned out to work out pretty good. That's where I made the bannock and prepared the steak and just stored my stuff on there. But it was really handy. It's nice to have a, a little flat area when you're out in the bush really helps it a lot. And I made this little hook here. I needed somewhere to hang my stuff near my table. So I just dug a little hole into the tree and I carved out this little hook and I hammered it in with the end of the axe. Bam! Hook! Baby! But I also have some cheese which I'm going to have with my bannock. It's Havarti cheese with some herbs in it. That's going to be damn good. I got my backpack hanging on the tree there. So, I'll get back to you when the food's ready. Alright, here's the steak. Turned out pretty good. Looks delicious. So the bannock is actually not done yet. I was hoping it would be done at the same time, but it's not. It's still a little soft in there. So it's probably going to be another 15 or 20 minutes. Okay, so here's the bannock. It's all done. It's nice and golden brown on the outside. And the onions are cooked nicely, you can see, inside. I got some butter here, I got some Havarti cheese cut up, ready to go. Man, this is a good meal out in the bush. Let's try it out. Get some butter on there. My plate doesn't fall. Okay, got some cheese. Oh yeah, here we go, bannock with onions in it and herbs with butter and cheese, here we go. Mmm, man that's good. So I'm just going to let this fire burn out a little bit and then I'm probably going to be on my way. Probably got another half an hour walk. I have to go in that direction to get back to my car. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. Awesome spot I found here to set up camp. Freaking beautiful, man. I found this forest on Google Maps. It's 
really big forest. And I thought it'd be a great place to go for a walk and do some bushcraft. But then when I got here, I realized it's pretty much just a giant swamp. And that's why it's not developed. It's because you can't really build on swamp. So it's just this big forest with a swamp in it. But uh, after two hours of walking in it, I finally found this little heaven of an area. So it was worth it. All in all, it's a good day. Until next time.